Okay, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome for the third episode of Call of Cthulhu with me, Slingle Boy. This time we got a drive to Hawkins Mansion, and there we are going. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse place through to be abandoned, revealed by some surprises, signs of recent occupation, as well as partly charred painting, interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley. Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. So that's what we are going to do now. And let's see what will happen this time. I'm a little bit scared. I still don't have enough clues, I think. And I hope I get more here. Although I'm pretty sure that I'm going to die here. <laughs> but let's not spoil it. That guy looks dumb. <laughs> I'm a little bit sad about these graphics. These are like the high resolution right now. Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. And this is like the best what they can offer. I'm I'm fine with it, but still The place has be been better. abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Okay. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? <laughs> the fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Oh, you are you going with me? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Uh, yes, I do. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was a smirk. unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Uh, this investigation professional, you know the place very well. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Oh. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I actually kind of like Officer Bradley. It's not that bad. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Okay, let's, let's go. The night I... falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. 
Of course, why not? Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. First entity. Everything, everything in this are epic. Like, yeah, now they epic. So uh, this is really the best what they can offer. I'm. I don't know. It's it makes me feel a little bit sad about it, but yeah, what whatever. But really, this epic. Okay, okay, I'm fine with it. And then somebody comes like, oh yeah, you your settings. <laughs> it's because of your I don't know other things. Yeah, might be. Wait, you go in there. Okay, okay. So first rule in a horror things: never split the party. So I'm going to look here. You go there. Wait. Uh, wait. There's a mansion. So where the fuck are you going? I laid me down and slept awake for the Lord system, but some. Oh. Well, this is holy place then. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh. I can take it. Yeah, so that's the place where they died. Simon. Poor I... kid. That's all. Oh, he was nine years old. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Yeah. Let's go to the mansion. But I... Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord... Have pity on this poor family. Yeah, more and more I talk with him, I'm kind of getting fond with him. It's a bad thing he's gonna die, is he? This is Sarah. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Ooh. Okay, is there anything else what I can find? You are uh, just going to stand here? I can take that. What is that green stuff? Is it like the real thing or is this some fantasy thing? That green stuff? I want to know because it's like everywhere here. And it's supposed to be like the realistic thing, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Please write in comments and tell me what is that green stuff? And why aren't you coming with me? Okay, main objectives reach Hawkins Manor. Oh, you're just going to whatever. Don't split the party, they said. And Sling split the party. Never mind that. No. Is he coming? I'm getting scared. Bradley. Bradley. Hi, crow. Okay, let's go there. That can't be bad. If we're going in front door. I'll have to find another entrance. Of course we have to. Jeez. Oh. 
Oh, it was just a leaf. No, 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 no. This doesn't feel right. And I'm just checking these places if there's something. Okay, that's when where we went. Okay, no. Bench. Ooh. Stuff? Any stuff here? Stuff, stuff. More random stuff. This entrance Ooh. is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? Whoa. We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Oh. Grab his axe. I walked first. There. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. Well, I just and told no you. Baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Uh, her help was important you to you. still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Mm, I'm probably making a big mistake. But it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Whoa. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Okay, let's go uh, this. So, oh, Silas Winchester, the old caretaker of the Hawkins family. Silas Winchester still watches over the family graveyard and the bur and the burned out mansion. He bought the Charles Hawkins, whom he all but raised. He also has great respect for the memory of Sarah Hawkins and the child Simon. His long month of solitude in the abandoned property have made him very distrust distrustful. That still puts flowers on the grave of Charles. Yeah, we know that. Okay. Well, of course, we know it's a diary. And now the cup comes. This is one fucking reason why never split the party, kids. This. This guy here. What now? Oh, I still can't talk to him. No. No. I thought I can. Piers, shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Well, then we. Let's go. That was fast. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Okay. Chapter 3, Hawkins Mansion. Here's an officer Bradley Expo, the guardians of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property, guarded by Silas Winchester. The old caretaker, still faithful to his employers, keeps watch on the place, armed with his axe. Pierce and Bradley manage to calm him down and, finally, get hold of the key to the Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building, looking for the skin of the fire. Alright, um... There's... It's getting interesting, but there's still... 
not yet like the horror thing going on and i'm i'm getting goosebumps that it's going to be like full of follow me uh, i know the jump scares and stuff wait left this, this place looks again is it some kind of gas oil jesus i'm i'm not concentrating on the right things Oh. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Oh. Oh, uh, my great. Oh, no. Let's check the places. Oh. So, oh, food. It is. What kind of meat is this? Well, that was a good medicine. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Okay, looks like he was an angry guy. Huh. There's a fireplace, but there's no the fire. Interesting. What is that thing? It looks like an octopus. Oh. Oh. Well, you can just blame yourself for eating that shit. Oh, here. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Oh, you can. Never mind. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Oh. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Oh, it got darker. I love dogger. No, I don't like this. But wait, they're still coming from light. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Okay, but first we got oh wrong. We got oh we got two CP. So We will need this. I have a 50% chance of getting, but also I want spot hidden now. It's, yes, we're gonna take this. Spot hidden is the thing. What we will need. Did it stop at the time of the fire? Broken clock, oh, yes. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Jesus. Ow! They had a fight. Why? Oh, there. No green. Eh. Yeah. No green stuff right there. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Uh, how? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Well, you know it better than me. You drunk bastard. But there. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Oh, that's a single painting. Is it? No, it it's not him, it's not Charles. It looks like him, but but no. Okay, is there any any other clues? Did you realize it? But when I took those um, spot hidden, a little bit more those green dots were those spot hidden things. So more I have it, more clues I found. Oh, here we have. 
Did someone escape the fire? All right. Blood thickens. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. Oh no. This was a fight. That guy looks <laughs> derp. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. That's fucking cool. Huh. And the boy. Vulture. So, detective, what do you make of it? Uh, let's go nicely. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. What? Oh, more character points. I'm gonna take it more. <laughs> We're going to investigate more. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Is there... It's going already that way, but I don't mind. This door is locked. Oh, that's why it... Is this game railroading me or something? <laughs> it's just... Oh, that's what's cat. It doesn't give me a chance to do what I want. I just have to follow that fucking Bradley. No, he's my friend. He's my buddy. Just... These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Well... That's a theory. How much of this? Wait. Where did. Bradley? Bradley? The lyrics no. of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Oh no. Bradley? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Wait. Did just lights flicker? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, here you are. Oh, gosh. That's a big library. What do you have here? Yeah, let's start from here. Oh, that's the family portrait. Ah. Oops. Was better trouble than the traffic maker of this game. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Okay. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. And why I took this, but not Frankenstein? And what is happening with those lights? Okay, right here. Oh, I can talk with him, but not yet. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. This in a wreck. Wait. Where I can see it better. Whoa. That is the same guy. It was Charles. God damn it, that monster guy is the Charles. Yep. Problem solved. Charles is the Cthulhu. Oh! What? 
Oh, it has been lighting. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, silly me. Okay, I gotta What talk do you to know you. about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. Anything if else? You're right. We should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Okay, so... Oh, there. Human body. Further analysis. Okay. Yay! I got medicine progression. And I have three CP. Wait. It didn't take my... <sighs> okay, now it should. Okay, now I got them. Jesus. When I was talking to you about, yeah, when you got better spot here on it, you got to see the hidden things, but it wasn't. The real thing. It was all a lie. But I'm interested in about. Can I see somewhere my sanity? Because it's a thing in this, I think. There's something disturbing about this painting. Oh shit. And who has this kind of place for. Oh shit. Okay, that's. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another under the sea. The mysteries of the deep. Under the sea. Jules Verne novel. The one book what I really want to. Crowbar finding how it's meant to it probably belongs to caretaker Silas. A crowbar could prove useful. No oh, shit. Just did going on there. Okay. Never mind of that. But you friend's book. Uh I would like to read those. I get my hands on one. Oh my god, my cat is getting crazy. You know I'm here. Back at the place. That's what could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Okay. Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she, again, terrified my client here. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, believe me that... Although it wouldn't feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Wellard. Who was Anton Wellard? Have we seen him? Can I see somewhere? Okay, the clues. Oh, Dark Water Cliff people. Webster. Hawkins. Fitzroy. Mitchell. Uh, Simon. Uh, Bradley interested. No, so that's some guy who we do not yet know. Who should it be? Who should it be? Oh! Did you see that? Was it? It's my imagination. Was there? No, 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 no. This is getting too dark. Hi, rat. I'm sure I saw something, but it, it's just my imagination. Locked. Of course, but you have a crowbar, goddammit. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Boys no. room. Yeah. Yeah, let's reconstruct. Ah, uh, the child and horror games. I don't like it at all. Okay. 
for the clues for the clues. And here we have them. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Well, drunk and daddy, maybe. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Oh. This is getting scary. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. Oh. What was wrong with this family? Oh, fuck it, dude. No, 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 no. That's. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? It's like his mother. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Okay, now I'm terrified. Wait. What? How? What happened to those paintings? Because is it the... No, I don't get it. Oh. <gasps> what is here? The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. I'm probably Jonah. He's seen broken by his mother and her attacks. Tension also seems to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the rest of an argument? Oh, uh, I can read this. Saturday. Today with mother we played in the garden, but she is still sad. I hate it when she's sad. Is she angry with father? Sunday. Father scared me. Scolded me. He shouted. Bad. Loud. And wanted to spank me but mother did not want him to he is always angry why there are lots of strange things in his office i just wanted to look at them tuesday i built a castle for mother and me i told her to come and hide with me wednesday she's always painting monsters i don't like her monsters i have bad dreams and they come into my bedroom and look at me i care i Cry and mother shouts at me, and father says that I must take tablets. They are not nice. I don't want to take them. Jesus Christ. Tuesday. Mother is screaming again. She cries a lot. Father is sad too and angry with her mother. I don't know why she. There's something. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's missing. Wednesday. Mother is sad again. At lunch we ate in silence. It was strange. Father said finish your dishes. We always eat the same thing. It looks like rotten fish and it smells very bad. Why does he always want us to eat that? It's not very nice. If we have to eat it, it again tonight, I will throw my plate on the floor and smash it. Okay. Damn. That kid had problems. Nice. No, not necessarily have problems, but I like that. Oh, um, now they're here. What was going through that boy's mind? Oh, they went there. Those papers. But yeah, so that clue was more awesome. Wonderful of his Oz. They've been thinking this through. I like how the Bradley just wanders off doing nothing. Oh! A key! That key that opens the door to Sohong is often was concealed. Is it. This one. The fuck? I have to close this before it gets too hot. And now I'm scared and I have to put it back. Okay. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Um. Faith brought us together, and for it will find us. Find us. 
Ein das. Right. Nothing. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Page one left. Painting for Boston Clyde in Boston. Painting for GF. Boston Clyde. Boston Clyde. Okay, there's. Painting for Dr. F. Treatment. Okay, who is F.S.? And who is Dr. F? I'm... That treatment, what does it mean? Is it the treatment for him? Or for her? Or what? Uh, it seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. I don't like that there's lightning going behind me. Ooh. Okay. Okay, what the fuck is wrong with you, guy? Oh, Jesus, I don't like this at all. I don't like this ritual ring. <sighs> was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Okay. Ceremonial... Uh, where I can check it? Fires. Ow. Blues over here. Last supper says boys from Sweden Athletic Compass in after the last supper pocket gloves. It's not here. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, this is getting interesting. See what is the door is blocked on the other side. Get damn it. Is there anything else what I can wait. Here's something. Bradley? <laughs> is that you? Jesus. Oh no. Why would you ask? Is that you, Bradley? If you're not sure, you should keep your fucking mouth shut. What will her room reveal about her? Ah, uh, no, no. God damn it. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, it's not really realistic how long you can use your barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Oh, barbiturates. They act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that I know something. Oh. So oh, these guys were drunk and in drugs. Oh no. Poor kid. I think. That's kind of stupid because we entered in the... You broke it. This padlock is too complicated for me. Well... It's no use. The padlock won't give. You stupid man. Oh, maybe I... Oh. Don't scare me like that. Oh, there. What is that? Mm. Sketch pad. Sarah Hawkins sketches look more like a gallery of horrors than anatom anatomical studies. Do they represent what haunts her nights? Is her man that bad in bed? Oh, I got occultism pro from that. I got it from what? 
Why from that? Okay, never mind. Well, it was. Oh, I saw there's sanity. Okay, I have the mental traumas. Uh, nightmares, okay. We have a uh, nightmares and submerged, submerged city. Okay, so um, if we get all of them, <laughs> we're gonna get mad, I think. Oh, we would have avoided if we could have talked to those two guys there and let them get me through there so I would have that trauma okay that's actually okay there's uh, there is solutions oh no 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 is anyone there Not like ah finally better light yeah, that's kind of hard what What? What? You stop. I fuck. How do I run? Yeah, I run, but that's not. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Well, that is getting interesting. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Oh shit. So he didn't go that way. I'll cover you. Well, thank you. Oh, no. Uh, Two light. Oh, I can light that way. I think. This yes. This door was closed earlier. I got the things. What do I got? Eighteen percent. So I'm getting better at medicine. Wait, that's the way where we went. In the first oh that's that door where did he go must have got out some way no no he was here i'm sure let's search this room they look like celtic runes charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips mm, i'd have this globe seems to have been part of some mechanism Oh, I can. Okay, we. North America. And where were the bus? I'm sorry, I'm. We're going to put it in Finland. That's where I am. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. <laughs> if it would have worked, it would be kind of neat. Okay. How about? No. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Yeah, I think you. No, I did want to do that. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. I know I'm missing something because I'm just doing it right. Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Who is that guy in? I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like it. It looks like a freehand map of Darkwater. 
Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. Wait. How did you so fast? Dark water, really? That's one fucking doodling, but okay. Vasilla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Well, we know how to activate it. Oh. With this, I should be able to force the gears. Really? It doesn't work like that. Well done. I like how that um, you can try it like the smart way to get the clues or then or you can use the force the brute force to do it or oh, there would have been it it looks like an old seaway man uh that might have been actually place it was in a prison hey okay <laughs> what is here? Oh, we oh! Well, I'm not using this then. If I didn't know that there was really oil on them, ah, oh, god damn it! But if I don't use them, I don't see them. Look, no, I can see them. What the fuck? Fine. Okay. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Might have. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Okay, we know that. Let's do it. That was chapter three and now we go for the next one so thank you for watching this one we're going to see you in the next episode so this is getting darker and darker but i still have my buddy here bradley with me yay so bye